Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing KDE Neon. KDE Neon is number 14 on the DistroWatch rankings list. And uh, there's reviews for the other 13 above it. And I'm going to be reviewing one of these um, every so often. So every week or two. And we'll work our way down the list. So KDE Neon is the one today. Uh, DistroWatch, if you don't know, is a website that uh, provides news and reviews about all the latest uh, Linux distributions. And we have this ranking list down the side. It tells you releases, latest distributions, latest headlines, and things like that. The KDE Neon desktop, you can go to neon.kde.org. Uh, essentially, KDE Neon is a Ubuntu-based distribution with a KDE desktop. And it's not unlike Kubuntu. And uh, some reason KDE Neon is number 14 in this list, but Kubuntu is number 36. Um, I'm not sure whether that's because Kubuntu users already know it's there and therefore don't need DistroWatch. But uh, anyway, so today's review is about KDE Neon. So you first thing you notice is this uh, fairly basic complaint desktop environment is KDE. Um, it's almost a vanilla version of KDE. There's not much fanfare around it. It's not like there's loads of tooling and stuff like that. It's basically Ubuntu with KDE on top and a, a few extras. So you've got this screen here and then um, under the applications you have got a, a text editor, um, image viewer, document viewer. You have a web browser and the KDE Connect tool. Um, you have a media player, a simple screen recorder I installed, there's no office suite installed, and then you've got a few utilities, and then you've got the Discover uh, tool for installing more software. Now the first thing I noticed when I installed KDE Neon, if I go to Dolphin, which is the file manager, you'll see the home folder, there is no... Um, folder structure. So there's no music folder, no downloads folder, no documents, pictures, stuff like that. So um, to solve the uh, missing folders issue, press Control Alt and T. And you run the command xdg hyphen user hyphen dirs hyphen update and that will create your folder structure as shown here. You see I've now got documents, downloads, music pictures, public templates and videos. And the reason that's important is if you um, have a browser like Chrome or Firefox and you start downloading um, files, if it hasn't got a downloads folder, sometimes the settings are set to default to download to your downloads folder. And if it's not there, it doesn't have anywhere to download to. Now you can change your um, settings in the browser to point to a different folder, um, but it's easier if you just have a the proper folder structure in the first place. I think this is an omission by KDE Neon and it's something they should really resolve in future um, developments. Uh, other than that hardware, because it's Ubuntu based, all the hardware works perfectly well. You can see I have a network and if I go to Bluetooth, I should be able to add my phone in. There you see Pixel 6a there, so I click next. It's come up with a code on the screen. It's also come up with one of my phones. So if I hit pair on my phone and it matches here. Uh, you can see that my Pixel 6a has now successfully connected. And if I go here and search for printers, uh, my printer is also successfully found without any um, setup required. To install software, you run this tool here, it's the Discover Software Center. And if you go to settings, you'll see there's FlatHub and Snap. And you've also got uh, KDE Neon, Debian, and Ubuntu repositories to choose from. What this means for the average user is that whatever you search for is generally there. For instance, if I search for Chrome, You can see it's there. I've already installed it. 
Um, generally, my rule of thumb is if there's a flat pack version available, I go for the flat pack over any other version. It's more likely to work than non flat pack versions. A good example of this is Caden Live. Uh, so I've got both of these installed at the moment. The top one fails, the bottom one works. It's um, I, I really should just remove the top one. It's, it's It just doesn't work. So uh, rule of thumb, generally I go for flat packs over everything else. Um, Spotify is uh, installed that. S Steam is installed. Again, you've got this one here. I've tried that one in the past. It doesn't work. The flat pack, I know it's going to work. It doesn't matter which distribution I'm on. I always go for the flat pack of Steam. It's going to work. And then um, Office Suites, there's only Office available, which is what I've installed. There is LibreOffice. And there is WPS Office. There's other things available as well, like the Caligra Suite and things like that. So that's how you install software. It's all works quite well. Um, so if I go into my folder now, you can see under internet, I've got Chrome, multimedia, I've got Spotify, and uh, then I've got only office here. And if I want to add Chrome to the bottom, I can either add it to the panel or I can pin it to the task manager. So if I do that, it appears there. Um, I can also unpin it. like that. So uh, that's how you do that. Uh, when it comes to desktop displays, uh, you can change your desktop wallpaper. Uh, right click, configure desktop wallpaper. This is standard KDE stuff. And you see there's a number of wallpapers available. Uh, what you can also do is there's this welcome screen spell welcome and you can do this get hot new stuff see all available third-party content and you can see there's all these things you can search for so if I go to wallpapers I can search for third-party wallpapers so and there's widgets there's um, plugins, Caden Live templates, there's cursors, all, all sorts of things, global themes. Uh, so what do I think of KDE Neon? Um, okay, so it is um, Ubuntu with a KDE desktop on top. There isn't much else to it. Uh, it's a lot like Ubuntu. Um, hardware works, uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, printers, all work perfectly well. Uh, one criticism is the missing folders at the beginning for the users. Um, I would highly recommend if you are using KDE Neon to run that command to add them in. Um, it will save you problems later on down the line. Uh, Software is easy to install. Um, you've got um, the full choice of Flatpak snaps or um, standard Debian packages. And there isn't really much else to it. It is, as I said, KDE on top of Ubuntu. Uh, the only thing I would say is I did have a couple of problems whilst um, recording this video. Uh, for some reason, simple screen recorder and vocal screen cut out every so often. Um, I've, I think I've recorded this voice over about three times now. So I don't know if that's something to be aware of. Um, it might not affect the, the average user, but it has affected me. And that is the end of the review. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux user.